Can you give an example of a genetic mutation or, 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 or an evolutionary process which ha can be seen to increase the information in the genome? Can you just stop while I think? I'm recording. Okay. There's a popular misunderstanding of evolution which says that uh, fish turned into reptiles and reptiles turned into mammals and, and so somehow we ought to be able to look around the world today and look, and look at our ancestors. We ought to be able to, to see the intermediates between fish and reptiles and between reptiles and mammals. We ought to be able to see fish kind of on the way to becoming reptiles. But of course, that's not the way it is at all. Fish are modern animals. They're just as modern as we are. They're descended from ancestors, which we're descended from. Way back 300 million years ago, there would have been an ancestor, which was the ancestor of modern fish and the ancestor of, uh, of modern, modern humans. And that ancestor, if you could have been there then, you could have seen the first steps towards a fish, uh, say, coming out onto the, onto the land and, be, and becoming... Um, becoming a, something like an amphibian. But that was a long time ago. You wouldn't expect to see that today. And so uh, uh, quite a lot of the misunderstanding of evolution, I suppose, I suppose stems from the fact that people are looking at modern animals and thinking that Darwin has said we're descended from them. Well, we're not. We're not descended from, from modern fish. We're not descended from modern monkeys. We're not descended from modern apes. They are modern animals just as we are. They are our cousins. They're not our ancestors.